Django has this built-in template feature and for those templates, it has its own templating language, the Django template language or DTL. The idea is simple. You wanna create HTML files, which you then can enhance to actually create dynamic pages, which are being sent back to the client on the fly on the server. So the idea is that we have standard HTML syntax, as we saw it thus far, combined with this special Django template language to dynamically inject values or dynamically create HTML elements inside of this HTML file so that we then can send back a customized dynamic response to the client. And we therefore have a dynamic HTML page as a result, which is returned with the response. Now up to this point, we only have a static HTML page. But now let's say we want to output this challenge text for the chosen month dynamically. Because of course we do have different texts for the different months. And we already are getting the text here in challenge text, we're just not using it at the moment. Well now we can leverage the Django template language to set this text dynamically in our template. And for this we first of all need to pass a third argument to the render function. As a side note, if we would still be using the render to string function from before, there it would be the second argument. But here we're using render and here it's the third argument. This argument should be a dictionary. So opening and closing curly braces. And in this dictionary, we can now set up key value pairs. And these key value pairs will be exposed as variables inside of that template file. And you will see how we can use them there in just a second. So here I want to add a key now of let's say text. The key name is totally up to you. And as a value I want to set challenge text. So what we have stored in this variable is now set as a value for this text key in this dictionary. That's step number one. The second step now is to use this key value pair inside of the template file. And for that there you can use a special syntax which is not regular HTML but which will be picked up by Django since Django is parsing and evaluating your template files. Here you can use double curly braces opening and closing which is a special syntax that will be picked up by Django to basically inject dynamic content in this place. So this is like a placeholder which will be replaced by Django when it parses this template. And here we can now point at the keys in this dictionary which we pass to render. This dictionary is the so-called context for this template or for rendering this template. And there I have a text key. So now we can reference this text key here to output the value stored in this text key. So in this case, the value stored in challenge text in this place. So Django will swap this code here for the concrete value stored in this text key. So this challenge text in this place here when it renders this template. So if we save that, and I now reload my June challenge, you see that text changed. It's now the text for June. Learn Django for at least 20 minutes every day. That is our June text here. Now, if you inspect that source code here in the browser, you will see that there, this looks like hard-coded text because Django analyzes and replaces those curly braces on the server and then generates a final HTML file or a final HTML string, which it does send back to the client, to the browser. So the browser only receives that finished HTML code. There you don't see that Django template language. You don't see that placeholder because it was replaced on the server already. But this is one of the key features of the Django templating language, being able to inject dynamic values like this. 
And therefore, now I got a challenge for you. As a next step, I want you to replace this title and also this h1 tag with another dynamically injected value where you actually say April challenge or June challenge. So where you output the concrete month name for which you're displaying the challenge. This is my challenge for you. This is my task for you, a little exercise. In the next lecture, we're going to implement it together.